after after reading and researching the topic that i chose is the substantive due process. It's a principle of constitutional law stating that the Fifth Amendment and Fourteenth Amendments in the United United States Constitution protect certain fundamental un fundamental and rights from the government's interfe- interference. So essentially these rights are known as liberty interests and are often described as applying to intimate and family decisions. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court has brought many decades, um, has brought within the privacy grounded right a variety of practices, including interracial marriage, um, contraceptive use, homeschooling, consensual adult sexual activity, and same sex marriage. The right to abortion was granted in substantive due process until June of 2022 when the Supreme Court overruled proceeding to that effect and allowed um, states to prohibit prohibit or criminalize it. Um, something else that I learned is that according to the Duke Law School, um, so essentially, it is it is used as you know in the first third of the century to aggressively protect economic liberties from government government interference. Um, another thing that I found is that um, until nineteen thirty seven, over two hundred laws were struck down for economic regulations. Since then, the court has rep repudiated economic substantive due process um in fact since 1931 not one federal state or local economic regulation has been invalidated or substantive due process grounds so this is important to keep in mind for um for any type of case that involves this kind of issue um so this legal legal brief brief kind of did leave me with some questions and I think um some of the questions is like when it comes to like the topic of the right to abortion um something that they didn't message was or mention was Roe versus Wade so I wonder if like that had like a very very big impact on this type of um due process um and I think this um specific like legal topic is kind of an issue for hospitals and providers because of the fact that um, it's less concrete. It protects certain rights from the government's interference, but they are not necessarily um, listed in the Constitution, but the courts have identified them as essential to a person's life, such as the, such as the rights included, which is like family, auto and autonomy, and raising children, the right to marriage, um and privacy privacy rights and this is from it's called fine constitution.finelaw.com and so something that um so essentially it's, it has come to include a wide variety of cases in various labels and with that being said it has um been applied to, to rights protected, including fundamental rights, privacy rights, liberty, interests, and incorporated rights. So this binding principle of these cases is that they involve rights of so fundamental that the court must su- subject any legislation infringing on them to close scrutiny. Um, and so going back to like the legal brief, brief in the book, and I think something that we don't really talk about is like the privacy grounding right a variety of practices, including interracial marriage, um, contraceptive abuse, homeschooling, consensual consensual adult sexual activity, and same-sex marriage. Now, obviously, with it being 2024, um, we kind of we we've kind of accepted the fact with um, same-sex marriage, same-sex marriage, and interracial marriage. Something that's very important to us with that. Um, so some of, some of the ideas and issues that were addressed in this topic um, kind of do mesh 
with like my past experiences so um they kind of support each other in a way i think we have the right to protect people when it comes to specific topics and i think i think with that that's where it will get us